In this lesson, we'll continue our review of problem solving and data analysis concepts. We're in the official PSAT practice test, section four, capture permitted, questions 22 to 24. And all three of these questions refer to the following information. In 1929, the astronomer Edwin Hubble published the data shown. The graph plots the velocity of galaxies relative to the Earth against the distances of galaxies from Earth. So let's take a look at the graph. So the velocity is on the y-axis, the distance on the x, and we've got a little bit more information here. Hubble's data can be modeled by the equation v equals 500 times d, where v is the velocity in kilometers per second at which the galaxy is moving away from the Earth, and d is the distance in megaparsecs of the galaxy from the Earth. Assume that the relationship is valid for larger distances that are shown in the graph, and they also give it the conversion of megaparsec is 3.1 times 10 to the 19th kilometers. All right, let's look at the first question of these three. According to Hubble's data, how fast in meters per second is galaxy Q moving away from Earth? So it's asking for meters, and remember meters is underlined for galaxy Q. So let's first find galaxy Q. Galaxy Q, we even got it labeled, is right here. And that's exactly at 500. But remember, pay attention to the units. That's 500 kilometers per second. So we know that this is going to be 500 kilometers per second. And we have to convert that into meters. And they don't give you a conversion. Uh, hopefully you know that there's a thousand meters in a kilometer. So we're going to have to multiply this times a thousand. And so we're just going to add three more zeros to this because we have to multiply it by a thousand and we have 500,000. Now we don't see 500,000 as a choice, but they use scientific notation. Which one of these equals 500,000? Well, we know it's not the A or D because that's two and 2.5. We know that 10 squared is 100, so obviously that doesn't work. 10 to the fifth, 10 to the fifth is 100,000 times 5 is 500,000. So the answer is B for the first one. All right, we've got two more questions relating to this data, number 23. There are four galaxies shown in the graph at approximately 0.9 megaparsecs from Earth. Which of the following is the closest of the range of these velocities? of these four galaxies in kilometers per second. All right, so 0.9 megaparsecs. Remember, megaparsecs, that's on the x. Here's 0.5, here's 1. And so it looks like these are the four they're talking about. From here to there, those are the four, right around 0.9. They're just to the left of 1. And this question is just asking for the range. And so if you look here, you have to kind of just balance out. This is 500, this is 1,000. This one is definitely closer to 500 than 1,000. Let's call it, let's just say it's around 700. And then this one is just below zero. We'll call it maybe zero or negative 50. We'll just call it zero. Again, it's not going to be exact, but from the choices, you can glean the correct range. So maybe this is even like 650 or so. Maybe 700 was a little too much, but it's definitely less than the midpoint, which is 750, and this is just around zero. And so the closest one, again, it's asking which is the closest. It's not going to be exact, but it's definitely 700, right? It's not 450. We know it's greater because it's obviously past 500, and there's nothing even bigger than 700. So it has to be D. And then we've got one more question, again, relating to this information. Based on the model, what is the velocity in kilometers per second of a galaxy that has 15 megaparsecs from Earth? And remember, we said that assume the relationship is valid for larger distances, and it only goes up to 2.5. But remember, we're given this model. That's really the key. You really have to pay attention to the information. We know that the velocity equals 500 times the distance. And they're giving us a new distance. D, we're told, is the distance in megaparsecs. And they're telling us it's 15. So all this is just using the model 500 times 15. That is 7,500. The answer is A.